Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> We've had a numerous requests, private messages, and reading a lot of stuff, uh, comments. High low. Man, high low is a problem. Been out in the field. You always get fittings, or at least I do. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. Or you get a mismatch of internal, external surfaces don't match up. Your inside walls don't match up, either by fit. Uh, a lot of mine have happened on fittings. Uh, concentric elbow or not concentric concentric reducers eccentric reducers and some elbows and stuff like that they're just not round or the pipe isn't round so you run into this problem of high low and you get certain conditions that you know it just seems real weird so you have this mismatch of alignment you know well, what can you get away with it what are some of the tricks uh, I want to say through experience, from my personal experience, it's kind of easy to leave behind a, an edge where you don't melt an edge. And that's a problem, especially when you go to x-ray. Now, you know, there's, some, there's, a, there's a couple of ways to go at it. Um, I want to spend some time, I'm going to go off this one kind of slow. This is 3 inch schedule 40. And I'm going to go into this and kind of take my time and I want to spend more time in here kind of making sure that I've got this mismatch and, and watch these edges. I'm going to go at this with 332nd ER70 S3 and I have, yep that's S3. Um, I haven't run a whole lot of S3 in my lifetime. I'm, I'm kind of an S2, S6 guy. So. Again, I want to I want to go at this and kind of backfeed part of it coming off the bottom. I may come up here and soften up the amperage and and do a keyhole effect up here in the top quarter here just to show you, and then we'll kind of peek inside and take a look at it. Hopefully, we've got some profile. Uh, I need to mention that there are allowable limits for this. So by code, you know they, we don't we don't want a whole lot of this stuff, and you can look up. Uh, what the allowable limits are on certain codes like ASME B313 and some of the others. So anyway, um, gas tungsten arc welding process, Everlast 210 EXT, about 15 cubic feet of, uh, per hour on the argon. I'm going to go about 95 amps tops on this. I'm not going to be using all of it, I don't think. 332nd E3 tungsten number five cup although when i'm coming off the bottom i'm not i'll probably uh, freehand this a little bit and hopefully get some good camera angles in here where so we can show some melt we'll get my hood we'll get to welding okay i'm coming off of this tack here and i'm trying to Trying to judge my amperage and spend some time on these side walls while I'm pushing a little wire in here. Trying to get a blend going. And I'm freehanding this as well. Little body movement there to get resituated. I'm going to stop right there and check progress. Stick my head in the camera guy's way. Let's see what we got in here. Without a flashlight, I think it's okay. <clears throat> now that I'm up here about nine o'clock, I wanna see if I can walk the cup up a little bit and show that technique.
Some of you may be wondering which wall thickness, the high one or the low one, or am I more worried about both of them actually? So as I get to the side on that technique, <clears throat> like I'm wanting to push wire, I'll try something slightly different. Try something different like dipping my tungsten. Mm, that sounded special. One thing I am noticing about this wire, it's a little crusty. I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not, but I'm spending quite a bit of time on this high side, pushing a little bit of wire, or at least it feels like it. Coming up on the tack, so I'm just going to blend into it a little bit. Add a little bit, come on through it. And we'll come out of it soft. That first part of that uh, that we shot a second ago. Uh, I was looking inside with a flashlight and it looked like it had some silicon deposit to it, but it wasn't bad and it, it was lined up on the edge, but it is not, a, the edge was fused is what I want to point out. That's very important. Wow, I should be a welder or play more golf one or the other. This is um, kind of as I, this is kind of how it, expected to be it's you know it's strange because your beads laying in there at an angle you know I'm sure you can see some of this and we've got some good b-roll this is this is a lot this is like almost out of tolerance um, in any event you know I'm looking at the bead on the inside we've got some b-roll stuff in here at one point it's like you're taking a picture of it you can't really see the bead because it's laid in there at an angle at the other way it's, you're, it's almost looking straight at it so it is kind of weird but the important thing is the edges are fused and it has reinforcement. It's not sunk in. And I could have gone at this with some eighth inch wire with this fit here. Although <clears throat> I would have been a little more nervous as far as that melt and that edge without getting too much profile in there. In any event, quick lesson on high low. Don't be scared of it. Common sense. Take care of those edges. Get a good melt in there. Hopefully you found this entertaining and educational. If so, please subscribe to the videos and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat. You ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. My mic's off. Are Not really. Serious? Nah, I'm just joking. It's been a day or two since you had a hook stuck in your mouth. I got you good the other day, you have to admit, had you worked up. You ready? Waiting, waiting on, on you. Waiting on you as usual. Waiting on the welding guy. All right, let's see what we got in here. Hold on, seriously, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, crap. Are you kidding me? Can we finish can we finish this video today? Please?